Hello everyone, welcome to The Logical Fallacy. My name is Sean and welcome to another special video. Today we're going to be doing something that honestly I should have done a while ago. So last time, uh, not last time, but a while ago, we listened to the first uh, FNAF song that I've heard from The Living Tombstone, which is absolutely ridiculous since they have some of the most classic, um, most memorable songs uh like ever like this song the first one i think is just like an absolute meme that has uh evolved and also the song's just really good apparently so uh we're going to be reacting to the five uh fnaf songs from the living tombstone uh i've already released or excuse me already listened to the sixth one so you can check that out on my channel but we're going to be reacting to these five songs all together. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, just all in one video. Let's go. I'm really excited. These songs. Yep. Here we go. The sound is just so good. It's just got such an iconic sound. Okay. Ooh. That drop is like, not that drop, but that raise, that increase is just absolutely fantastic. You know, I have to pause, I know. But I have to remark on the music because, you know, one thing that I really haven't really done, uh, mostly because I think I'm just a visual person, is like I, I just kind of on oftentimes just comment on the visuals. But this time, like the lyrics mixed, like the sound of it, um, it's, you know, very classic. Um, you know, you've got that like robotic almost synth to it, uh, which is really cool. But also, you know, just generally the beat is just on point, you know, I just, the music, I just tend to focus on the music more than the lyrics. Uh, it's a bit hard to focus on the lyrics, uh, but I will say this is, I love this already. This is absolutely fantastic. Yep. <laughs> This is just something you can like bop your head to. It's, it's very nice. Because I'll die if I stay. So, you know, I don't want to do that. I have my reasons. Get away from me. It's a place I want to be. That beat, though. Crazy, I love it. <laughs> Probably. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, and, you know, oftentimes, you know, I don't know, th this is obviously quite an old song because, you know, we know a lot more about the lore now. Or do we? I, I don't even know anymore. But honestly, like, it's just funny, like, some of these, like, we remember a face like yours. You know, I don't, I don't know if that's a reference. It seems to be a reference to, to Afton, uh, which is kind of funny. Um, so, you know, the lyrics, I'm trying to focus more on the lyrics, you know, I don't want to be just a person who just stands there and just bobs his head and just like, because I know that's annoying and I want to actually react to the music. So that's just kind of what I'm doing. I'm just looking at the lyrics because I don't typically do that, but I just decided to do this this time. So, but I love the beat. It's just, gosh, so good. I'm not kidding. Since 1987. The I, is, am I the only person who can't imagine that line without imagining Jack Black singing that? 
I, I think I'm the only person who can't because, well, no, no, I'm not the only person. I'm pretty sure everyone is because it's just such a meme because of, of good old Jack Black. I love Jack Black. Oh, so good. I love the power going down. Such a good... A good thing. And now it's gonna go out. This is just ending B. That's so good. Just got jump scared, guys. That was fantastic. I love it. It's just one of those classics. And look at that. 273 million views. Like... That is insane. That is awesome. Well deserved. This came out in 2014. That is crazy. So yeah, that is literally, you know, that's eight years. So this came out like directly after FNAF release. That's that's crazy. Well, now we get to go to so this this one also released in 2014 because I believe did the first two games, three games released in the same year. Yeah, Scott was insane. <laughs> Back then, he was just like releasing games left and right. Once it was popular, he was like, "All right, time to go, time to work." All right, look at that. I like that image. It's very cinematic. Ooh, it's like the 8-bit style. So these are from the the game. Those vocals are really good. Huh. Uh oh, it's purple. Good reference. I love the references here, and you know, the 8 bit style obviously is very classic. Um, and I'm not sure, so I know this one, so I think all of these are directly mini games from the, the, the game, which I didn't realize FNAF 2 had so many. Gosh, the story really, like, was created in FNAF 2, I feel like, you know, like FNAF 1, Sprinkles, and then it's just like FNAF 2, just all the lore, you know, obviously still you had some of the setup in FNAF 1, but honestly, it just felt like there was so much more crafting and storytelling and the unique way of just like hiding everything to where you kind of have to seek for it. But now, you know, all these images are iconic, you know, because people have found them and, you know, the Lord's been exposed. But yeah, I love the lyrics here that kind of like are explaining what's happening. Ooh. I love the beat. It's very similar to the other one. It, like, it seems like they kind of saw the popularity of the first one, and they kind of tweaked it a lot. Like, it's not the same song, obviously, but they definitely went with kind of, like, the same style. Um, while also, you know, adding uh, someone who has, you know, more vocals... You know, because it's no longer just animatronics, you have more characters in here, so it's like, you know, from a certain perspective, which is cool. Let them eat cake! I wish I lived in the present, with the gift of my past mistakes, but the future keeps luring in like a pack of snakes. Ah, there he is. Your sweet oh. little eyes. Oh gosh, I don't remember this. Wow. Honestly, like, I feel like the 8-bit style is just so fantastic for storytelling. And I know I've already said this, I know, I know, I keep pausing it, I'm sorry. But, um... No, it's just like, look at this, like, you know, you look at it from
from this perspective, it's so cool looking back at just how much where it started. It was so simple, yet so profound. Like we, you know, figuring all this out, finding all the secrets, you know, figuring out Scott's story. I feel like the problem now is it just has kept going and it it's gotten so the need for complexity has just increased, I guess, because our need for more complicated lore is it's just increased. But like, you know, this was just like a story about a family, you know, and a murderer who was a terrible person. Pretty crazy. I mean, there was more to that. There was also like people getting stuffed and stuffed crust pizza. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're all gone. Hmm. So this is the puppet. Oh, there's Golden Freddy. It's me. Oh, that's a great way to end it. And I love the arcade um, setting of it, like it always happening within this arcade, which, you know, I feel like, honestly, you know, I know before we start the next song, um, my thoughts on that one, it's very interesting, just like that whole idea, because that's exactly kind of like, you know, part of the story happened in Security Breach was in an arcade machine, you know, and I know there was like a lot of lore behind that. Um with like Vanessa and stuff, but it's just like interesting, like the fact that we, you know, the the fact that history is like somehow happening in all these 8-bit styles and like, you know, you wonder like, you know, obviously it's stylized, but imagining that as like an actual game that someone could play, that's actually pretty terrifying. <laughs> like a child just playing through the FNAF too many games, finding all the secrets and just being like, what did I just witness? I don't think I was supposed to see that. Kind of similar to like Cassidy. Or was it? Yeah, I think so. In FNAF 6. I think that's what we're all asking about Afton. Ooh. <laughs> What's wrong with your TV? Don't throw it out. Ooh. Yikes. So this is him, Captain, taking them apart. Ooh. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this. Visual- I'm, I can't stop talking about the visuals. I'm sorry. It's just like the only thing that apparently captures my mind. But this is stunning. I love this. And this was made also- so this was made like a couple months after. I love it. This looks fantastic. Gosh, this was made seven- Seven years ago? That's crazy. Huh. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of violent. <laughs> It's not something to laugh at there. The vocals are absolutely fantastic, though. Wait. So it's, uh... Orko... And Ellie Monty. Uh, great vocals. Ooh. I love the lyrics, though. 
course is absolutely fantastic. And I think the crazy thing is this doesn't even sound like a FNAF song. Like this just that kind of like sounds like a like you know a really good hip hop song. You know, with very violent lyrics. <laughs> The visuals fit very well. Oh wow. Oh no. Uh oh. Here we go. Everything's rewinding. Uh oh. Yeah. That was a good good introduction to Spring Trap. And actually to be honest, you know, I, before I kind of thought like I I knew the lore but before, I kind of thought that, like, in FNAF 4, I think it was, right? That was the... That was the one... No, 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 this is FNAF 3. And that was the... That wasn't the one that was set in the... That wasn't the one with Springtrap, was it? I think it was, wasn't it? But no, that was a great introduction to, to Springtrap. Uh, I don't know where my thoughts are going. <laughs> All right, so we get to go to, so once again, a year later, here we go, FNAF 4. But before we start that, we are halfway through reacting to these songs. And I have to ask you to do something. Please subscribe, comment, and like this video. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are, you know, very close. Not to 900 subscribers quite, but, you know, every subscriber counts, especially when we're a small channel like this, you know. So if you enjoy, please like and subscribe. All right, this is the final time I'll say that. Thank you guys for watching. All right, we're returning by. So we're returning back to kind of the synthesized voice of the very first video or for FNAF 1. That, that's, that's really cool. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. The mixing is so good. Just with the styles. I think whenever you have these kind of vocals, like whenever you have the synthesized vocals, you think that it would be grating, like it wouldn't sound good, but the the music is just mixed so well that I think it actually fits really, really well. And, you know, like, I think that whenever you have that, um, it just like stylizes it, obviously, you know, like, which is really cool. So I think that that's, that's kind of why I'm kind of vibing with the song. It's really good. Ooh, okay. And then it just goes to this. Strobe lights. I love this. Okay. It's a callback to their first song. That's great. Huh. So is this talking, so I was trying to look at the lyrics kind of to gauge where the perspective is. So it said, the song's called I Got No Time. So I'm guessing this is probably from, cause I'm, this is from like, go, this is kind of like back in the timeline as far as I'm aware is to like the crying child. Yeah, because that's when we found out about the bite of 1983. Uh, so, uh, you know, I know my FNAF, I haven't played this game, but you know, I'm bit too much of a whip but eventually i will play it on the channel um but you know i'm just looking for the right time definitely whenever um never mind. we'll talk we'll talk about that later <laughs> just play the song
this part right here. Love it. There we go. Oh, it's mixing with the heart thermometer, or not from heart meter monitor. That's really cool. It's gonna get to six. Ooh, it's kind of chilling down. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That is really great. I love the, the thanks to Scott. That's great. All right. One more song. I didn't realize we were almost here. So sad. Oh, this one looks very different from the rest of the styles. That's awesome. Oh. 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 Okay. What? This... What, what, what is... <laughs> what is happening right here? The visuals are just hitting me, like, so hard. Wow, I love the introduction to... Because the introduction actually was the beginning panel, where it was like... When, when Baby was like, you're in for a surprise, and I had all the cute animatronics... Then it just, you know, with this style. Wow. I love the twist of expectation. I love that. That is fantastic. <laughs> this is epic. By far my favorite. The first one, though, is a classic, but gosh, the visuals. What the heck is happening? Why are they ripping each other apart? Oh, I know what they're doing. Okay, they're making inner. That makes sense. Wow, I I have no words for this. I I don't know. We're a minute into this five minute song. Wow. It feels like this song has gone, like, so much has happened. I thought this song was almost over. And that's not to say that it's too long. I'm saying that it's just a lot happening. I have no idea where the song is going, and I love it. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like survival of the fittest. Gosh. The visuals are just like... They're so on par. So just like... So above everything else I've seen. This came out in... Uh, yeah, 2016. That's crazy. Wow. So, so they're building. I'm, I'm guessing they're they're building innard is my kind of guess. But I guess the way that it's being done is just so cool. I I love it so much. But also, it's kind of on the other hand, it looks complicated, and I'm sure it was to animate. I'm not saying that at all. But, you know, comparing this to kind of a 3D element, you know, this kind of, it's such a different style. It's like, you know, one of those things that I keep talking about is like stylizing, you know, stylizing your music, stylizing the animation. 
and I love stylized animations and I love stylized song, but this one is like both. It just has like this kind of like, it's very simple and it's not necessarily like, you know, it's repeating the same lines, but the visuals bring everything just full circle. It's just, it's awesome. Oh. This is what happens when you leave it to somebody else. If you want it done right, you should just do it yeah, yourself. Which is what she does. You oversaturate your world with nothing but machines. You might make everyone happy, but you're dead inside just like me. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah. And the verses just fit so well with the game. Wow. I d this is just so good. I just want to sit here and watch it. But I have to commentate. Wow. And it's interesting because, like, I feel like certain panels are repeating. But I can't tell because there's so much going on and everything looks so unique. Like, it feels like certain animations may be repeating. And I'm, I don't know why I'm so stuck on this, but it's just like, it looks so good. It's just like, I... I want to know how they animated this. It just like, you know, I would love to, to understand that. Wow. Ooh. Oh, here we go. There we go. Wow. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, that was unexpected. Well, wow, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Fantastic. The living tombstone. Wow. I had no idea. That was crazy. Honestly, that last one, like, it was so strong. You know, lyrically, it wasn't as strong as the other ones because there wasn't, but the, it just visually it just captured you. I would say at times it's a bit overwhelming, but I don't think it overall destroys, like, the overall sense of enjoyment, I would say, which is awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. Please, once again like and subscribe but also most importantly comment below guys what you guys want me to react to next i really want to see and hear that um but thank you guys so much and you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time